Welcome. I'm glad to be back sharing with you again. What you are looking at is my yet to be completed N scale river and bridge module, or sometimes referred to as a diorama. Over the next several weeks, I plan on sharing with you the techniques I am using to build what I hope is a very realistic scene. Here is what you can expect in the coming weeks. I'll share my initial planning process and move on to my use of extruded foam as the primary construction material. I will share the tools and techniques used to form the hills and cliffs that make up the topography. Having the right tools, like a hot wire foam cutter, makes the job go much smoother. We will have some fun making a mess with sculpt -a mold and add rock outcroppings made using hydrocal plaster and woodland scenics molds. I'll share how I scratch built a wooden bridge by taking inspiration from a kit I have previously purchased and plans downloaded from Luke Towen's website. I'll also demonstrate how I used my Micromark Chop It and my painting and weathering techniques. The scenery looks pretty bare without any trees. So for this module, I'm trying my hand at making trees using Scenic Express's super tree material. Straightening, flocking, and highlighting with contrasting ground foam is all part of the process. If trees are a must-have, grass and ground cover is a given. I'll share my first time using a static grass applicator by making some tufts and applying static grass directly to the layout. After trying flex track and not being very successful with it, I have decided to use Kato Unitrack, which many modelers have praised for its ease of operations. But it comes with some unique challenges to both weathering and ballasting. We will give it our best shot to see if we can make it look as good as flex track. Oh, and we'll need roads too. I wanted to use this module build to learn and demonstrate as many different tasks or skills as possible. So I'm including both paved and dirt roads to share with you. You'll see that I oftentimes combine different methodologies that I've seen on YouTube. And of course, it's always fun to dry out leaves in the oven and put them in the blender to make great homemade ground cover. There's a whole lot of details yet to be worked out, like should I add animals or people? Where do I place the trees, etc. I'll leave you with this shot of my progress to date and a touched up shot showing what it may look like after I paint and pour water in the riverbed, add more vegetation and paint the street lines or I should say, paint the street with dash lines. I hope you'll come back and join me as I provide an in-depth look at the various aspects of building a realistic river and bridge layout module. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe and hit the like button. And comments are always welcome. Thank you.